What's going on, Reefers? Kevin Wolf here with another episode of Aqua Reefs TV. Today, I'm going to give you guys a walkthrough on how I do water changes on the 10 gallon nano. So before getting into this walkthrough video, guys, just wanna go ahead and give you a quick update here. We have a new addition inside the Nano. We got a Black Widow bubble tip anemone who found his spot in the tank relatively quickly. Given there's not too much live rock to scatter along on this tank, I placed him in an area I felt the anemone would feel rather secure and safe and also the most optimal spot for required lighting and whatnot. And uh, so far he is settling rather well. Had him for about a week now in this system and he's, he's doing really well. The clownfish has yet to really recognize the anemone, but hopefully in time he does. <laughs> so. Without further ado, let's get on into the rest of the video. So prior before every weekly water change on my system, I always grab my refractometer and any device or instrument, I should say, that you use to measure salinity in your saltwater aquarium. I totally recommend making sure you measure the salinity in your actual system and whatever pre-mixed batch of salt water you have should also be measured too prior to actually adding it into your system. You wanna make sure that everything is pretty balanced and equal. In here, I already did my measurements, so we are sitting at 10 to six in this brute trash can right now, as well as sitting at 0 0.026 in the system as well, which is optimal and exactly what you need prior to getting into doing your actual water change. So that's always my first step. And then I like to go ahead and take my orange bucket here <laughs> from Home Depot, of course, and make sure I have my siphon hose ready to go. This is the bucket that I use to draw out the old water out of the system. I'll go ahead and discard that water from that bucket. And we are ready to rock and roll with putting this water, the new fresh salt water, I should say, into the system. So that is essentially how I go ahead and perform my water changes. And uh, let's go ahead and dive right into actually doing the water change itself. So from here guys, the first step is to make sure you have your bucket that you're gonna to use to discard the water. Have your siphon ready to go. And the only thing that's next to do is to turn off the system. And now that my system is off, I'm gonna start drawing out the old water. And then once you have the siphon in the tank, you can go ahead and do the best part ever. Start the siphon. Once you're done siphoning out the desired level that you're looking to take out, you just pull out the siphon and that's all there is to it. The next step is to just discard the old water down the drain. And now that we have about 20% of the water discarded and out of the tank, we are going to replenish the 20% water from the brute trash can here with our clean salt water. So I will be plugging in the pump into my outlet right over here, and we will be replacing the old salt water with the new salt water. So this next part for me is a bit of a two person step. So I have some help from my lovely girlfriend who's gonna help me out. And you ready to plug that in? Cause the pump starts up right as soon as we plug in and um, go for it. And good. And from here, we just lift this up so water don't spill all over the carpet. Back down it goes. Now all there's left to do is to turn the system back on. And I have this cup with water to prime the filter. Go 
go ahead and give this power on, start everything back up, and here it goes. Beautiful. And just like that, the 20% water change is complete, guys. We've already went back to double checking the salinity, making sure nothing's changed in the system. We are still running at a stable 1026 on the salinity. So whether you guys are new to the saltwater aquarium hobby, new to reefing, or maybe you're not, maybe you're just coming in to check out this video and see how I perform my water changes on a weekly basis. Hopefully you guys found some value in this video. If you liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There's more to come in this how-to series. Again, I'm Kevin Wolf from Aqua Reefs TV. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Stay tuned and happy reefing.